Hey guys, welcome to the very a very special review, the first review on YouTube actually, of the Halo Mega Bloks UNSC Pelican Gunship, a very highly anticipated set, very highly anticipated. So there's the awesome UNSC figures, no paint decals of what I've seen, which is good. I looked carefully at Target, Night Battle Wagon, which lights up, as you can see, and it even makes those awesome sounds of it crashing and again. So this looks like a fantastic set and I am so ready to build it. So I'll meet you guys back when I finish it. Hey guys, so here it is built. Um, it's a fantastic set. Got a great, a lot of great things to say about it uh, and, and some cons. Um, but let's get started on the minifigures. So first we have um, our Halo 4 Scout Spartan, which is definitely look like a Sarah Palmer. I think they meant to do Sarah Palmer, they just didn't want to put the name as it. Which I don't get why, they really should have done that, but whatever. And everything on this figure is new, which is awesome. The helmet is the Halo 4 design, which is fa fantastic. It's got the Halo 4 visor, uh, the new Halo 4 Scout torso, the new Halo 4 Scout arms, as well as uh, the legs are new as well, if you get a close look at that. And it's got some arm printing, which is very, very, very awesome. Even Lego doesn't do that that many times. And even some more over there. So this is definitely, definitely a fantastic figure. And uh, let's just say she comes with the DMR. So that's Sarah Palmer. Uh, I mean the, the scalp. Um, here's the new Pathfinder Spartan. Uh, this is the first, or se I think this is the second variation. The other one is in the Goshog, which I do not have at the moment. But it should be at my doorstep soon because I ordered it. Anyways, so um, here's Pathfinder. Everything on the Spartan is new as well. Uh, the legs are the Pathfinder design, as well as the arms. Uh, no arm printing on this figure, but that's okay. As well as a new torso, which looks great. And the new uh, back of the torso as well. And the new helmet design, completely new mold. The only con I gotta say about this is the visor is uh, just too spread out. I mean, and, and the Pathfinder visor is kind of shriveled down a little bit. That's okay, they still did good. And they gave it the legendary brown visor. And it comes with a normal shotgun. Definitely an awesome figure. Uh, next we have the Operator Spartan, which is another specialization Spartan that you can choose by reaching level 50 in Halo 4 in the multiplayer. And you can either choose this or many other ones. Um, so this one's got the torso, a new torso as well, which looks very accurate. He's come with two Magnums, um, brand new arms, I think, brand new arms. Uh, yep, and uh, he might have the same legs, but they are brand new as well. So this is a fantastic figure and the head is a completely new mold as you can see. It's got the brown visor. I really wish they would have gave him the operator visor. It's kind of like a reddish bluish purple thing. I can't remember but it's really cool. They should have gave him that visor. But the legendary brown visor is okay as well. And next, probably definitely one of the best Halo Megabox figures that has ever come out. Now when I saw this at Toy Fair I thought it looked very very stupid but as you can see, it lights up, which is just awesome. It's motion activated, so you move it and then it lights up. That's kind of, kind of annoying because when you're just moving it around, it wastes the battery by lighting up. But that doesn't matter in this case. Anyway, so he's got that brand new head, uh, which is just awesome in that plastic. And it's got the little things that uh, pop out, like in the campaign and in the trailer too, in the night, uh, like just goes in Master Chief's face. It's a very cool Mega Box, made that scene, reenacted it. Uh, it's a new sword. The Battle Wagon sword is a new sword. Um, he's got the new stuff back here. It's got actually coloring on it, which is awesome. And he's got the rubber Battle Wagon thing. It's rubber, but that's okay. It, it just, it's so, it's such a great, great figure. And the legs are not new. Um, same as the other knights, which I will compare. And he comes with a brand new binary rifle, which is fantastic. Look at that detail that they sculpted into there. It's, it's beautiful. You can even take it out of the knight's hand and uh, give it to a minifigure. You can do that with the sword as well. So I'm really happy that they made the uh, binary rifle. Anyway, so this can move up. And then you're thinking, uh, I know what you're thinking, there's a watcher in this set? No. The watcher is what makes it light up. So it's somewhat a watcher and then there's this mechanism, it's hard to get out, it's hard to get into, which is kind of a pain. It's this orange thing back attached to this watcher. Um, to make it simulate the light, as you can see, it lights up right there, which is very, very cool. I think Big Bucks did great on that. Anyways, so uh, it's cool how they make it look like it's a filled up night, 
with the watcher in it. So I love how they did that. I love how they made that the light. That's very clever. They also have these orange points right here, which are new. Um, so everything about this is fantastic. So let's compare it to this night. So as you can see, almost everything is different here, except for the legs and the arms. Uh, they do have different weapons, binary rifle. Uh, they do have different design swords. They do have a different head. Uh, I got a really manufactured error on this head right here. The eyes are way off. Anyways, um, so you could switch this head with this. I really wish they would have included this head for this as well. They could have included two heads. So it, it depends on which one you want. But this one's fine. It's just awesome. I'm not going to complain. Anyway, so it's got this thing right here. And not not doesn't have the battle wagon thing. It's got colors on the, I guess you could say, wings. And they both can fit a watcher in it. So that's basically that. I do not I do not have the Night Lancer yet. Uh, like I said, I'm getting it in the mail soon. So anyways, that is the Night Battle Wagon. So you just shake it up, and then it lights up. That's pretty cool. So the figures are definitely awesome, but not the reason to buy the set, which um, we'll go into right now. All right, so here is the awesome vehicle itself. Um, there's a lot of features, so it's going to take a bit to get them into. First is the opening cockpits. Um, it's a big piece. Uh, the set is very, it's, it's $100 because um, it's got some big mold and it's got lights and sounds which will definitely boost up the price but we're not going to talk about that until the end. So anyways, so it's got the two opening pockets which one opens this way and one opens that way which is pretty cool. You can fit two figures. I put the operator spartan in here. It's got the figure peg so that you can peg them in. Um, yeah, and they squeeze in there fine which is great. Um, it's also got the machine guns, which are heavily detailed, and that's what contains lights and sounds, which I will get into later. It's got the little engines that shoot out the jet stuff, and they rotate 360. And you're supposed to have them down when it's flying, or actually sideways when it's flying and down when it's landing. And so, yeah, that's it for the cockpits. Um, it's got these awesome little engine details, which I think Mega Bucks is great on. There are also big molds. And the wing, of course, can do this, like on the last Pelican. I'm, I am going to compare that to the, um, to the other reason. This, I'm going to compare this to the old Pelican later in the video. And I will do a separate comparison video, too. Anyways, so uh, it's got the uh, jet stuff over here as well. It's got a light right there. And uh, a lot of detail here. Um, a lot of stickers in the set as well, but it's Megalbox, so what are you, you going to expect? Stickers don't matter to me that much. They're easy to put on, so... Anyways, so you have here is, if you remember in the mission, uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's like you're going to those three different buildings in Halo 4. Uh, you, ha you have the Pelican. Uh, you use the Pelican in that mission. And you can store weapons on the Pelican. And Megablox actually included that. So what you do is you lift this up. And as you can see, there's a soak on Magnum in there and two frags. That is on both sides, which is awesome. You can even switch that out for DMR if you want. Um, I actually haven't tried that. Might not fit, but whatever. And in the mission in Halo 4, you could grab a saw, DMR, frags, and a magnum if you wanted to. Um, but that's that's just an awesome feature, and that opens and closes as well. So, let's take a look over here. More engines. And it's got these turrets uh, that you're able to use in the mission if you're a two-player. And they, they got those on both sides. They rotate a lot, which is good. They don't go up and down, which is kind of a pain, but that's okay. Um... Let's give you guys a 360 view of this. This is the back. That's the engine stuff right here. It's just an awesome looking vehicle. Definitely, definitely a great job on this. Anyway, so here is Palmer. Or I, well, I don't know why I keep on saying that. Uh, here is the scout uh, on the battle turret. So I did have a little problem. You know what, I'll explain that later. Anyway, so it rotates 360 and that's what it looks like with the figure displayed on it. Got the opening crates again over here. And, um, yeah. Um, let's take a look at the top of the vehicle and more of the play features. Okay, so here's the top of the Pelican. Uh, it's got the UNSC sticker, which is nice. Uh, the caution sticker for the... T this is what I want to explain. This is awesome. I really didn't think Megablox was going to do this. Because um, they in, they didn't make it look like the actual uh, tank... Uh, actual tank thing, but it's okay. Because uh, in the mission of the Halo 4 mission that I was explaining earlier, um, you are able to shoot this cannon if you press a certain button. It is the same thing as the Scorpion cannon. Um, so that's awesome that they actually included that. It doesn't go forward. 
Uh, it can, that's as far as it can go, but it's great that they included that. I think it, it turned out very well. And because uh, that thing was awesome in the mission, I mean, you shot five of those and it blew up a phantom, so that was pretty cool. Anyway, so just like the last pelican, you got the opening hatch to access playability, and you got a lot more in here, which is very cool. Uh, it's a bit dark, but um, there's four seats. There might have been four in the last one, or six, I can't remember. But that's okay. Uh, you can fit four figures in there. There's no uh, figure pegs, but that's alright. Anyway, so, uh, don't know what's over there. And uh, there's the landing ramp right there, which we'll get to right now. So this thing opens and closes on a hinge right there. Um, so, and by the way, this can you can store the turret back here as well. And you can kind of unhook these things to bring them down as a landing gear. Same with the other side. If don't know where it went, but it's over there. Okay. And um, move this thing, which I'll explain later. That's the pro. I got this. This is a real problem with this set, but I'll explain that later. So there's a ramp, boarding ramp down here, just like the last pelican had. If I could get it down, it's kind of hard, but with no room here. Oh, never mind. I got it. Okay, so here it is, the boarding ramp. Oh, you've got enough room to walk figures in there and stuff, which is cool. And that open opens and closes perfectly. And uh, here is the engines back here. Uh, they're just attached like that. They don't move or anything. Um, some more detail up here. Um, here's the landing gear and stuff. It doesn't work real well, as you can see. It tips over. Uh, you got to position it right, but it doesn't go down the way you want it to. Sometimes it does. But here's my real problem with the set. These two landing gear, they don't like to stay up, so when you're flying it, they fall down. But I figured out a solution. You got to put it up, bend this thing right there, and make sure it kind of hooks into that hole. You've got to do that and it's it's quite flimsy so it falls off um, sometimes. Um, but other than that, um, it's okay. And uh, they also included, a, this is an awesome feature but I do have a con about it. They included this hook right here and they included some extra pieces so that you could um, attach it to the mantis so that the Pelican can actually carry the mantis. And this is the carrying handle so there's different pieces that you attach to this to carry the mantis. Um, you can do that if you want, and you can do that with the new Goth Hog as well. Um, but you don't have to attach any pieces to the new Goth Hog. So that's very awesome they included this. Uh, they didn't reveal this at Toy Fair at all, so it was a complete, complete surprise, and they didn't spoil it for us, which was very nice. But the problem is, when you're flying, it hangs down. And the directions tells you to put it up here, but it doesn't stay. So what I figured out is you have to, first of all, lift up the Pelican, and you gotta push it back there and then it can stay for you. And then see, these things fall as well, so... You know, that, that's my only con about this set. Um, figures are great, but the landing gear, not so much. Um, and that black thing, really wish it could stay up there. But it looks okay when it's back there, so... I mean, I really don't know why Megablox couldn't have fixed that. It just doesn't make sense to me at all. I mean, it's very annoying. And if um, kids that want to play with this set, and, you know, you're kind of flying it around, and then got the landing gear and the mantis hook and you can't take off the mantis the the hook I mean it, it's it's hooked in there by technic pieces uh, mega blocks technic pieces so it, it's pretty annoying but anyways uh, without further ado uh, here's the top uh, they did a great job on it <clears throat> and uh, yeah it also has got some retractable landing gear back there which is cool so you put it down with and landing and you can kind of lift it up and yeah if it's retractable, you guys know what I mean. So, um, that's it for that. And here's the lights and sounds. I will show you that right now. And let's take a look at it. Alright, so for the lights and sounds, there's a button right here. You can see it right there. Touching it right there. You press that and it activates them. It's got five different in-game sounds, which is cool. That's it taken off. And then I I had problems with my Hornet, but I feel like I realized uh, that it's motion activated lights and sounds, so that I didn't get a problem with my set or the batteries. So uh, let's slide around, and that's the gun, which I think is the same as the Hornet. I don't know. Anyways, there's more sounds as well. That's it taking off as well. That's it crashing. That's it shooting. And that's it shooting the scorpion turret, I think. 
And there's one more that um, I think I actually got them all. I don't know. Anyway, so that's the lights and sounds. I think they're actually better in this set uh, than the Hornet. But I really hate how it's motion activated. Because um, there's no way to turn it off. So when you're moving it, it doesn't shut up, which is really annoying. Um, but other than that, it's cool. Um, but after a certain amount of time, the lights and sounds just decide to go off uh, when you're not using them. So that's okay. At least they're not on 24-7. Same with the night. Well, the night, um, just mo if you move them, it turns on. But um, Megablox uh, did good on the lights and sounds, but I could have done good without them. I mean, it's, it's okay. Uh, they did include batteries, which is nice. So, which is, which is great that we don't have to purchase, our self, purchase it ourselves. Um, but, yeah, and now I'm going to explain kind of the cons of this set. Like I said, the landing gear um, is in the back is kind of a big con because it hangs down and stuff, which is really annoying. And it's not just my set. I know, I know that's what it is because the directions told me to kind of, it, the direction said it was just left up there, which was annoying. Um, but what are you going to do? Anyways, and so, I will show you the biggest con I have with the set. And uh, let's take a look at that right now. <clears throat> Alright, so here is the con uh, that I got. So this piece right back here is attached from right here to a stud right in there. So, it's a huge thing that you're attaching. And it's extremely, I mean extremely hard to actually get it on the studs. Um, I'll show you the steps in the instruction book later in the video, probably in a minute. Um, so, I'll show you how they had you do it. And it looks easy um, when you're doing it, but it honestly took me 25 minutes to actually get it on the studs. And it really was pissing me off. And that's, that, I don't want to disappoint anyone, but that, that's a big problem with the set. I mean, they really need to fix that. They, I, I figured out actually how to do it. There's actually pretty much no way to attach this without doing what I did. So, uh, there's four pieces right here that like to fall off a lot. And uh, one of them is right here, right here, this curved up piece. Those fall off a lot, so you have to attach them to the big piece up here. If you're confused, I understand. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of explaining my best. So you attach it to this huge Technic piece up here, and uh, you got to attach it to the studs. It takes it takes a while, so um, that is a huge problem. Little kids are not going to be able to build the set. I mean, it, it's got some hard parts to it. It says 8+, plus, but I strongly recommend if you're 11, 12, you you should build it then. Un under 11, no, you're not going to be able to build it, I'm sorry. Uh, this is one of the challenging Mega Block sets to build. This and the Ford to Dawn, I've got to say, have been the most challenging so far. Um, you know, it's it's not as bad as some Lego sets I've built, but this 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 has got some challenge to it. I mean, which is good in some cases if you want to be a better, better builder, that's good. Um, but other than that, it's a big con that I, I just really uh, had a problem with. Um, but that's why I wanted to explain. And so I'm going to talk about the ratings and show you the box right now. Alright, so here's the front of the box. It contains 11,161 pieces. It is 8 plus, 97129, and is the UNSC Pelican gunship. And it says, try me in the store so little kids, little kids can get touch it and stuff, which is kind of disgusting. Um, but, uh, what are you going to do about that? Um, it's got it taking off on that mission in Halo 4. If you can remember this mission, I exactly can tell it is. You can see some of the other buildings there. So the box art is very awesome. It's got the new Summer 2013 design with Master Chief there. And let's take a look at the back of the box. All right, so here's the back of the box. And it's got this cool little description that I read earlier. So if you want to pause and read that. It says five authentic in-game sounds, motion activated lights and sounds, which I just don't like. Includes transport hook to carry the mantis. That's what I meant by carrying it, which looks awesome. I do not have the Mantis, guys. I'm really sorry I would demonstrate that in review, but once I get the Mantis, I will be sure to make a video on it. As well, in the Gosshog review, um, it says you can pick up the Gosshog, so I'll do that as well. And so it shows the three minifigures, UNSC Spartan Pathfinder. As you can see, the visors little shrivel down, uh, the UNSC Spartan Operator, UNSC Spartan Scout, and the Promethean Knight Battle Wagon. That's the head they should have included right there. Well, the new one is cool, but they should have included that as well. And light up night battle wagon shows you the four other sets, three other sets actually. And so that's basically for the back back of the box. So let's take a look at the instructions. And there's something a little surprising about this set uh, that I wasn't expecting. Is in the last Pelican they made a mistake in the instructions and they did it again in the same in, in the new Pelican. 
So they explain um, in step 95 they gave you wrong pieces, but they, they put uh, the replacements in the set, which was very nice, which is those right there. And they did that in step 95 and step 111, so they made mistakes again, uh, which is typical of Megabox. Anyways, so you get this huge instruction manual. I mean, it's just way too big. Um, I'll show you the back. I'm not going to show you the step of where the studs are. Um, a little too difficult, but it gives you the instructions of what pieces to put on the mantis for you to carry it. Give you demonstration there, and it says you can pick up the golf hog as well. So I will be sure to do that. And um, include transport hook. Yeah. So that's very nice that they did that. And uh, let's do the ratings and look at the comparison of the pelicans. All right. So here's a comparison of the two. I'm not going to make this too long because I'm going to make a separate video on it. Let's give you guys a quick look of what they look like side by side. Cockpits are different and stuff. And this one is a darker green. And this is Halo 4. That is Halo 3, Halo 2, and Halo Wars design. So, I don't think it's Halo Reach, maybe. Anyways, so uh, let's go on to the ratings. So, I mean, overall this is a great set. Um, as you can see, the Pelican just looks awesome. Don't get me wrong with the figures, they are awesome. Um, everything about them is just great. Uh, like I said, the Knight should have included another head as well. And the Pathfinder Vods is a little off, but that doesn't bother the set really at all, because they still are great. Everything is new about them, so that makes up for it. Anyway, so, um, like I said, uh, there are a couple cons. Way too many stickers. Um, that stuff falls off a lot, which is the biggest pain. Um, and... This one, I forgot to say, this one includes the same amount of minifigures as the other one did. Um, but, in my opinion, these minifigures are a lot better. And these are the Halo 4 design ones. So, um, overall, it's a great set. I, I, I'm sorry if you guys want to get a 10 out of 10 on the set. I just can't do it. Uh, the build is going to be too hard for some younger kids. And uh, I, I just, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to go about a 9.2 out of 10, which is still a great rating. I mean, I wanted to go 10 out of 10 on this set, but I just couldn't because uh, of some of the cons. But, um, you know, Mega Bloks messes up sometimes. Um, although the figures are, the figures I'm going to give about a 10 out of 10. Even though they got a couple cons, it's the 10, it's still great. 10 out of 10 for the figures. And, uh, overall, for the set, 9.2 out of 10. So, this is, I don't know necessarily if this is a must-have. Price is good. I wish it would have been 90, though, because the countdown set was 1,200 pieces, had 100 more pieces than this. Retailed for the same. But, this one includes lights and sounds and some bigger molds, so that makes sense. But 90 would have been a better price for Mega Bucks. Even though it is less than 10 cents per piece, um, so I, gu I guess the price is good. Um, so this is a must-have for Halo 4 fans, definitely. I mean, who doesn't want a Pelican? But if you did not get the old Pelican, definitely pick this up. Um, because uh, the old, old Pelican is quite expensive now, so definitely go pick this up. If you do have the old Pelican, um, and you're not so much a fan of Halo 4, I wouldn't recommend getting it that much, um, unless you're collecting collecting the figures, I guess, and because, like I said, there are some cons, so, uh, watch out for that, um, but overall, uh, this is a great set, uh, Megabox did a fantastic job on it, the design of it, it, the design of the Pelican is just so good, I mean, they put so much work into this, uh, that it's just a fantastic set, um, so 9.2 out of 10, that's basically it for this review, please look out for my Pelican comparison video and the new Goss Hog review coming up soon. So yeah, that's basically it, and thanks for watching.